Okay, so today we've got some accessories in for the Tiger 660. We're going to put the luggage rack on here and we're going to put the panniers on. Welcome you to my channel and let's get going. Okay, so the instructions and uh, we're talking about this being in a holder. I didn't get any holder. This is the way it came out of the plastic bag. So anyway, stick your key in there. See the symbol of the lock. I tried it both ways and it likes to likes to go in only that way. So here's hoping. Okay, we're gonna play with that off camera. Okay, so I was wrong. That little tab was actually sticking this other way away from the lock. And then as I turned and wiggled it went in. Okay, so now, I don't know, one way is locked and one way is unlocked. There. So it's in. And that has to be unlocked, I think. And then this opens up and now we can find our other parts. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, here's the other side. Let's see if we can do it live. So there's your cylinder. We're gonna see all those little guys are sticking out. Then we find our key. So we put our key in, those go flush. And we said this goes this tab goes opposite the locking symbol. Interesting. <laughs> that one went towards. Well, they, one was one way and one was the other way for some reason. Okay, so that's locked. That's unlocked. No, nope, that's unlocked. So that opens. This lifts up. And then we can open it. Except that it's still partially in the bag. And there's no spare parts in that one. The parts are all in the other one. There we go. So the key, as someone mentioned, only comes out when it's locked. So in our parts box, so we have this little arm. That's called the third arm. Goes on to the other side. And we have various nuts and bolts, washers. And we have some rubber doohickeys to put on the end of the third arm. I was thinking to myself, these things here are so light, they could be plastic. They don't feel like metal. And I would say they are some sort of plastic. They're not metal. So we're gonna stick these guys on right away. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to read the instructions. There you go, I would go for that. Hopefully I've got this in the camera. That looks about the right way. Goes on pretty nice. Nice and easy. Way to go Triumph. So I sorted all my goodies here so we know how many washers and how many bushings and how many stuff goes with what. So if I'm reading the instructions correctly we put the smaller diameter washer on to the smaller bolt. Pass that through there. They like to call it a fixin'. Um, and then we put on this, because the diameter of the hole is smaller, so we put on this spacer. And then we put on this thing to the third hole. And then the bigger washer, with a number eight or whatever they said it was. And then there's a lock nut. So I'm just going to do that finger tight for now. And we'll try and get the other stuff on the right way. So we need two of these bolts. We have the spacer and we have a washer and we have the bolt. So we want the bolt with the washer. And that makes sense because the fatter washer is always protecting this plastic piece. And then we want the spacer and this time the spacer goes because the spacer is basically making up for the gap in the plastic. And then we'll bolt that onto here. 
Yeah, and don't tighten that one uh, at all because we have to get the rest of it in here too. So same thing, we have a bolt and a washer from the back side, spacer, the small part facing the plastic, like so. Never ever forcing anything. And okay, now we can snug it up. If you have to force it, then something's probably wrong. As he's having a little gritty on that one bolt. But it's several turns in already. And then this guy is a uh, vibration proof nut. Okay, let's get some wrenches. Okay, so I got myself a four millimeter Allen key for this, the 10 millimeter wrench for the back side of this bolt, and a 12 millimeter wrench for this side. And these are those little ratcheting wrenches. Very nice invention. Whoever invented them gets an A plus. It's like a little mini socket. And we don't want these tight. Because we have to slide this back and forth once we get the box, the uh, pannier close. This is the one that didn't want to tighten too freely by hand. There we go. Now it's tight. It's not that I'm forcing it. But it was a little bit much for finger tight. So that's got a friction nut on it. So that one's a little bit harder. Is this a little more persuasion? Okay, I spared you a little bit of that wrenching time. So I'm just able to move it and it doesn't slip around. So that's going to be handy for when we fit the pannier on. Okay, so I don't hope, I don't know if you can see that. We're aligning up this guy right now, but looking up here, I hope you can see that. Fit that in there and then line these this part up and with this all the way back that way then this wants to come out and just meet it so this back part here with the rubber has to clear there we go so we can tighten it down like that and I'm gonna start by tightening this small bolt because that will be easy and then we'll tighten the two back ones later let's try that again see now it's, now this doesn't go by right so I'm going to slide it down in and then I don't know if you can see the top it looks. do it again from this perspective there see we so we stick those in the uh, orange thingy to the back. Right, this lessels against there, and then we slide it down and hit that. I locked the box because I wanted my key back. There you go. Now you can put that in, and this would open. There we go lock she's in there so now we'll just tighten those back bolts make sure this is nice and tight so hopefully you can get a better idea of you see that just barely passes by there and then when it slides in you can see how far it covers the rubber. So as I was trying to say, this goes in and then it drops down. In and down, there's a little bit of a, le a ledge there. In, down, line up the bottom rubber and forward. Lock. Lock, unlock. And we slide it back. And then up and out. In, down slightly. Watch this is lined up and forward. Up 
This is locked. So just for a recap, these larger bolts here, the uh, manual says to torque them to 16 foot-pounds, 22 newton meters, and this one was 10 newton meters, which is about 7 foot-pounds if I remember correctly. And I don't trust my torque wrench at those light ones, so I will be doing that one by feel. So oddly, as I was saying, the other side would be the same. The um, swing arm is a different shape and I couldn't get my socket in. So I had to loosen off these two bolts here to be able to get my torque wrench in. So I could torque this bolt to 15 pounds. So of course you know when we do our own work on our bikes we're doing it so at our own risks but if it's not very difficult we can save a little bit of money. And now. I'm going to have to find out what the torque is on these guys. I know my torque wrench was set at 15 and it came off without the torque doing anything, the click going off. So thanks for watching my video. Welcome to the channel and I hope this helps you get your panniers installed in your rack if you follow along with that as well. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, catch any new videos I make.